Hey everybody, we're off to uh, uh, another restoration video series. Uh, at least this time it's not another S38. It is a it is a Halicrafters, and in fact, um, I'm going to be doing two of them simultaneously. One's not uh, going to require as much work as the other as far as uh, cosmetics. Um, a couple of years ago, I picked up, I think it was on eBay, this S S40B, and you're seeing the under underside of the chassis on it. Um, my son claimed it is his, and he's been after me for, for a little while to uh, get it running so he can use it. So um, I also have another S40 from Arthur, and his father, uh, K1 SVC that he sent me and so I want to get that one done and get it back to him um, but since these are so similar uh, as far as parts wise uh, I thought I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one done real quick but um, while I was at it uh, you can see down here here's a couple of uh, um, larger resistors they're actually uh, two 24k resistors in parallel that comes up to uh, comes out to 12k and those are actually 10 watt resistors and I know I probably don't have either a 12k 10 watt resistor or um, a 20 uh, 224s so what I thought I'd do is I'll go ahead and recap this one figure out, kind of test these and kind of get an idea uh, what resistors I have on in stock and what I don't. Um, in fact, that, that might be just, a, those might be 5K resistors in parallel because there's another one over here and the only, only one in the parts list that calls for 10K is, uh, um, now, well that's a, I think that's, uh, the, Actually, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Actually, those are actually four, supposed to be 4 watt resistors. Or add up to 4 watt resistors. So, I'll go through and figure figure that out. And I thought I'd order them at the same time. That way I can save on some shipping. So, this one, the, the case is in pretty good shape. Um, I've got some uh, knobs that we have to replace. The dials were in excellent condition. So that's good. Uh, just got to clean the chassis up. He doesn't want to do a super detailed restoration. Um, face plate on it looks fine. You know we're just we're just wax it up, uh, clean it up, and there's a little there's a few scratches on it, but we're either wax those up and touch them up or just wax them up and leave them because he just wants to use it, uh, get to using it. So when we first grabbed it this was although it's fairly clean it was all the oil and, and grease and that was uh, 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 hardened and you couldn't, t uh, couldn't move it and everything so um, uh, we're just going to do a general clean up on this recap it re uh, shotgun any resistors that need to be replaced and hopefully put it back into service so this will probably be the last video that you see the this particular unit in. Um, what I'm going to show you next is where we're going to start with on uh, on Arthur's uh, S40. Okay, here's the S40. Um, cosmetically, it's not as in good shape uh, as the one that I'm doing for Brad, or that we're going to bring back up, Brad. It's not horrible though. I'm a little concerned about this gap here. I, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do anything on that. I'm going to try to try to tighten that gap up there. Um, the front of it looks the worst for wear. Uh, these are fade or discolored. Obviously, these are discolored, um, but they're there. And I was able. To repair, 
procure replacements from radio days for those. So those will be fairly easy. This looks worse than it is. Um, you know, once we fix this and everything, uh, you know, obviously we have to redo the labels again, um, which uh, shouldn't be too too difficult. Um, the rest of the case, you know, it's just the paint is bad. Obviously, we're media blast this and, and powder coat it. Haven't gotten inside it, inside underneath it yet. I did pick up a replacement for this if we need it. Um, or see what I can do. It looks like somebody repainted it and it got uh, the paint got stuck in there. We're we we're see if we can straighten that out. Otherwise, we're new, use the replacement one I got for it. Um, inside. There's a couple, you know, obviously it's very grungy. Um, this is going to need, the, the uh, variable capacitor is going to need quite a bit of work. Uh, looks like a tube adapter has been placed on there. This is not the original capacitor for it. Um, and it's it's loose in there. I'll probably replace that um, hayseed, uh, I can't remember what the last name of it. They've got some for the S40Bs. Or check the check the um, values on that. If his is uh, the correct values, or go ahead and just order a new one from them. It's it's a little bit more expensive than if I was going to recap. But um, the other thing that's a little worrisome, but hopefully will turn out okay, is that uh, IF can or whatever is hanging there loose. Um, We'll find out about that. Uh, other than that, uh, the case has got some surface rust on or the chassis has got some surface rust on it. I'm hoping I can uh, uh, or be able to get in there and uh, clean that off and then it, I'm sure it will be pitted a little bit. But if I can clean it off and shine it up, we'll just protect it from rusting further um, and then that should be okay. Um, it's got all the knobs on it uh, so it's really I know Arthur's a little bit concerned about it but it's really not going to be a, a whole lot more work than the S38 we did for him that I can tell so far uh, actually to find that out for sure we should probably take it out of the chest so I think that's just four, five screws, six screws. Well, let's go ahead and do that. We'll find out what we got underneath here. Um, hang on, or go hunt my screwdriver down, and we'll do that. All right. Start a little disassembly here. See what we end up with. Feels like there's a little bit of a den in here we'll have to try to remove. Some screws on the side here.
Okay, your typical rust on the inside of it. Doesn't look too bad. Here, yeah, set that up over here out of the way. Okay, let's find out what the bottom looks like. All right. There's already been some recapping done on this. Which they've used the orange drops, so. That's actually not so bad. So I'll go through and double check all the values and make sure those are okay. Obviously we'll check our resistors, try to get it cleaned up. It's got some, I don't know, growth or something on the uh, wiring. That's, that's amazing there, the way they tied that down really nice on that wiring. So, if I can avoid tampering with that, I'm going to. So that really doesn't look all that bad, to be honest with you. If I can clean that wiring up, and it's okay. This needs to be replaced here. Of course, that's probably part of that replacement there. Uh, check these ceramics. I don't think there was any ceramics originally used. That's probably an electrolytic capacitor there too that needs to be replaced. You can see there's one new resistor that was put in there, so that's probably, chances are pretty good. So, boy, there's not gonna be a whole lot to, other than cleaning up underneath the chassis, there's not gonna be a whole lot. I'd like to have a strain relief on there, I'll put one on. Probably replace the cord and put a strain relief on it. Um, so, as long as those IF cans are okay, it's going to be more cleaning up the chassis and then uh, um, as long as these all come out alright, I'm not going to replace those. <coughs> It'll just be checking the resistors checking the tubes and uh, looks like a nut just came off there so I'll probably unsolder that and take that loose and double check on the inside make sure nothing's been messed up in there so that's a uh, kind of good news this is going to be Not sure what that is there. As long as the transformer is good and the AF transformer is good, speaker looks good. The hardest part I'm probably going to have is these things that are uh, held on there. And I'm going to have to figure out how to get that off to put, put the new one on. And since I got them from Radio Days, or I got the new ones from Radio Days, I might drop them an email and see if they've got some suggestions on the best way to do that. But boy, that, uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, okay. That's what they did, they substituted the rectifier. Have to find out if that's the correct substitution. Take that plate off, repaint that. I can't wait to get get on this thing, get it cleaned up, see what it, see what it ends up looking like. So I'll go ahead and We'll go ahead and get the S40B recapped and, and back to Brad. 
Um, then I'll go ahead and take this front part off, hand it to Kristen, and have her remake whatever label or remake whatever label she needs to make. And uh, then we're we're strip everything off the uh, off the top of the chassis and clean it up, and then put everything back on. It's not shouldn't be really too hard to do that. This will be the hardest part, probably. And uh, check those tubes and figure that out and get that ordered. So, I think that's going to be it for this time. So, this is KB0ASQ <clears throat> signing off till next time.